Hello! Welcome! This is part 19 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Last time we did a whole bunch of stuff by returning to Dark Root Garden. It ended up, it ended up being a bit of a long episode, so sorry about that guys, but this episode should hopefully be a bit shorter. We just got a few uh, miscellaneous loose ends to tie up before we head on to the next big area. So uh, we're back here at the Sunlight Altar, because um, between now and the last episode, I actually went and did a co-op. I, I got summoned with... Uh, Back for Ornstein and Smo, um, we had a nice 3v2 fight, and um, even had an invader which we beat. Kind of regret not recording it, but I um, figure we're going to save a lot of the multiplayer stuff for uh, the new game plus anyway, so not a big deal. Anyway, the main reason I did that was because, like I said, every co-op you do, and by that I mean uh, you make yourself summoned. Uh, sorry, I didn't clarify that last time. Uh, you can't just someone else summon somebody else. You have to make sure you get summoned. Um, it'll lower the requirement by 5, so now we only need 20 faith, and as you can see, we got a bunch of souls from uh, doing that. So let's go ahead and get our faith up to 20 here, and then that should allow us to now join the Warriors of Sunlight. And uh, we're going to do that um, by coming up here and talking to Solaire. Oh, hello there. I'm glad to see you alive. You have done well. Indeed you have. You've a strong arm strong faith, and most importantly, a strong heart. I am in awe, really. Yes, yes. What do you think? Why not join me as a warrior of the sun, righteous knights, guardians of all that is good, in the name of the Lord of Sunlight? Only if it would please you, of course. Well? And of course, we're going to join. Oh, magnificent. I knew you would fancy it. Then join the Covenant. Here, stay still for a moment. And there we are. Now, just say a prayer at the Altar of Sunlight, right there. Then you shall know the brilliance of our sun. So yeah, just like that, we're now officially a Sunbro. Hooray! Which means if I put down my summon sign, then um, you're gonna be able to uh, you're gonna be able to see me <laughs> as a glowing yellow something. Plus, we'll get sunlight medals when we do it. Um, now, the main thing is that uh, if you come here and you pray, you can offer sunlight medals that you get. Uh, we can also, of course, learn the most important gesture: praise the sun. Well, second most important, of course. <laughs> but uh, handy to have that. Here we can always rejoin if we need to, and this is where we actually offer. Um, as you saw before, we uh, got ourselves the uh, Sunlight Spear Miracle, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're actually not going to offer anything just yet, because whenever you switch between Covenants, it kind of resets your like uh, devotion to them, basically whatever you're offering them. So uh, there's there are some other miracles and stuff we can get by continuing to uh, join and offer them here. Um, we'll do that eventually, but we actually got to rejoin with the Forest Covenant. And I think, uh, yeah, in Dark Souls Remastered, you can actually change your covenant here. So we're going to go back to the Forest Hunters. Um, it's going to be pretty important for the next area that we're going to. Um, well, not quite the next area. So where we're going next is uh, we're going to figure out what to do with the um, that ember that we got last time. The uh, magical, or possibly enchanted ember, I think it was called. Uh, there's a special blacksmith that we can take it that to. Um, now, we were available to uh, get it, it to this blacksmith whenever we wanted, and even say hello to him from the start of the game. So, um, first let me just talk to him real quick. There you are. I'll be heading okay, yeah, so he said that last time. Um, just wanted to make sure that we trigger him, because we're also going to be seeing a little bit more of him this episode. Um, but before we do that, we're going to head down. We're going to take the stairs down here, and make our way over to the lift to New Londo. Which, I'm not sure if I got the elevator to come up. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Um, I think I'm also online right now, so... <laughs> I could technically get invaded, but I don't think I'm going to be going to any new areas this episode, so... Shouldn't get invaded. <laughs> Shouldn't be a big deal. But we'll actually be able to see some messages for once. So if we head down here, right? Everything's been familiar. We've gone through here a few times. But if we go over... Um, this way, I think? Yeah, over by the guy that's chilling, and we go down these stairs. I remember getting a nice view of Nilando here. But right here, hiding in this jail cell, is uh, Rickard. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, 
shouldn't cry. I'm Ricky, the knight. I was once an established smith, but look at me now. Can you believe it? So yeah, just like Big Hat and Griggs, he's also from Vinheim, the Harry Potter knockoff place. Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. No intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in the Alright, and just like that, we now have access to him as our blacksmith. And he is our magical blacksmith. So, um, if we modify our stuff, he can turn things magical. Which, uh, I don't have any plus five weapons, so I can't demonstrate that here. But, um, we should be able to, uh, give him that ember we got. Uh, let's just talk to him a bit. We, uh, the option to give them to him is when you first talk to them, and since we had to do the intro talk, we didn't get it this time. So real quick, let's see what else he has to say. Hmm? What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed. Undead. But, what's there really to moan about? Oh, I guess he's got a good point. Uh, not much dialogue from him. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away our ride with this. Right, so now I think we can give it to him. Hey, hang on. Is that a sorcery emblem? Oh, I've never seen one like that. Not even back in Vinheim. What a brilliant flame. Please, friend. Let me have that. I am begging you. I am a craftsman of Vinheim. I'd go hollow before I pass him a flame like that. So yeah, just like Andre, he's really excited to see it, and we're going to give it to him. Oh, really? You are wonderful. I will forge a wicked masterpiece just for you. A weapon to make a legend out of me. And with that, now we can make a... Uh plus five magic weapons into enchanted weapons. Um, so that's obviously not something we're too interested in at the moment. And as far as exactly what the difference is, because uh, there's going to be another ember we get which will allow us to go from plus five magic to all the way up to plus ten magic. And so when you make something enchanted, it uh, it basically just... I'm not entirely sure, but it, it, it makes the scaling slightly different. Um, I believe enchanted is more if you're really leaning into magic, whereas you want to stick as a magic weapon if you're a little more split as like you know a melee slash magic user i think i'm thinking i'm not entirely sure the differences aren't even like that major so it's an interesting ember that they put in the game um but i figured since we picked it up may as well it's now as good time as ever to go <laughs> say hello to rickard just to make sure he doesn't have anything else to say of course i've heard it who hasn't him been he was a royal member of dragon school until he turned undead I hear he was quite the character. Only that was a hundred years ago. What interest have you in the old eccentric now? So I guess he'll tell us a little bit about um, Big Hat. And I believe he'll say some more random things about magic stuff as we go through the game. But let's just quickly see what he has for sale. Um, some simple spells and a catalyst. So you can actually run down here and get started with magic if you want to. Um, we weren't, so we didn't. So no big deal. But now we know he's here if we need him. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idleness. And so we're going to leave him be. He just wants to avoid the troubles of Dark Souls, find himself a nice little simple place to call home. Uh, so we're going to let him do that. Uh, we'll save a homeward bone and just take the elevator back up. Because I think I'm running kind of low, actually. I only got three left, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's right on up. Our next stop is going to be back down in Blight Town, of all places. <laughs> so let's uh, let's make our way there. It's not going to take too long since now that we can uh, warp. Uh, we actually could have actually just ran right there, go into the Blight Town sh shortcut. But you know what? We're already up here, so let's not stress about it too much. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say from the Firekeeper. We haven't found another soul. Again, she's not going to say anything to us. Yeah, we already heard that uh, say that, so that's all she's ever going to say. She seems a little disappointing, like, you think we get a little bit more lore out of her? 
but she's not too interested. So let's go ahead and warp over to the Daughter of Chaos. Again, this is like I said back then. Um, let's say you beat Quelog and you just want to GTFO out of there. Um, it's a little bit faster to not rest at this bonfire. But by doing that, now we've unlocked it because uh, you can't warp to bonfires you haven't been to. Um, now we do also want to upgrade our pyromancy flame. To dedicate yourself to our end. I will make available if you need some. So yeah, we can modify our stuff. We want this to be up to plus 10. Um, and we're almost there, so let's let's go ahead and use some of those uh, big soul items that have accumulated up until now. Uh, this is a good use case of them. Some of these, like, yeah, souls of a hero. Let's use both of those. Get ourselves, I think, 40,000. Oh, no, only 20,000. Still, still a lot, but um, that might get us to what we need. Uh, get that to nine, and then we're going to need one more. Okay, so we don't need that much more. So let's go ahead and I think uh, one of these should do the trick. And with that, if he'll talk to me. Are you with me? Now we'll have a plus ten permanency flame. So if you remember, uh, what's his name, Laurentius? Oh, and those are the bells ringing because, like I said, we're online. Just like in the. Uh, with the bell gargoyles, anytime someone beats them, you'll hear the bell ring. Same thing down here, anytime someone rings the bell after beating Quelana, it'll ripple through all the multiplayer worlds. So the reason we did that is you need a plus 10 pyromancy flame. It could be plus 15. If it's, if it's plus 15, then we're going to have to come back here uh, for a certain character to appear. So we'll see in a moment if I was correct or not. And so we want to make our way back up. Where we want to go is back into the gross swamp area. Um, and I'm actually going to equip my rusted iron ring for that very reason. There's a few things we have to do out here. And we make our way back through here. Nothing, Nothing's going on here. Most areas of the game, once you kill the boss, they're just going to sort of be empty and desolate. You can see a blood stain or two. Actually, I don't know if I ever talked about these. Blood stains are cool little things where if uh, you press A on them, you can actually see how another player died, <laughs> and you'll kind of see their ghost run around, and then, um, oh, not 10 bucks, this says amazing chest to hit. Yep, <laughs> there we go, at 185 ratings at that. Uh, I should I should leave online more often, but we'll enjoy it this episode since we're not going anywhere new. Well, the last thing I need is some hacker showing up with just, he's like moving around like one frame per second is in front of me and then all of a sudden is behind me backstabbing me. I don't need that. I don't need that to destroy the momentum of a nice episode that's going well. You know, we're gonna get all the cool playthrough stuff this episode and then next time, not this episode, this playthrough and New Game Plus is when we're gonna get all fun, have a lot of fun with the multiplayer. Now we have to watch out for that guy because I don't want him messing things up uh, with this character I'm about to talk to. So let's see if we can lure him over and Take him out real quick. Nice backstab on him. Nearly get him. That bug can please leave me alone. Wow, that's a lot of iframes there, buddy. Okay, it goes down pretty easily. Ah, these bugs are so annoying. Thankfully, we were a poise boy. Wait, we're actually running a bit low on health there. Get some more poop. Um, but anyway character we want to talk to is right here. So this is uh, Quay... Quay Black... Quay something. <laughs> Let's see what she's called. Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Fascinating. I am Quaylana of Isolith. I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy? Like Salomon? Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? Alright, so this is Quelana. Um, <laughs> thankfully she told us her name. She's basically the next level uh, pyromancer teacher. So she offers some more advanced pyromancies for sale, uh, which we'll definitely want to pick up at some point. Um, most of these are pretty straightforward, just like fireballs and 
other ways that fire is going to shoot around. Um, the interesting one here is Undead Repor. This will um, actually temporarily convert an enemy to be an ally, so real fun one to play around with. Uh, so we'll definitely be picking that up at some point. Let's see what else she has to say. Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. Over 200 years ago, there was a man almost as bungling as you. In your world, he was called Salaman, the Master Pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. So yeah, Salaman, I believe, was Laurentius' teacher. So um, the lineage isn't too far off, actually. We went from her mom being the Witch of Isleth herself, to her, to Salaman, and to uh, Laurentius, and to us. So let's see what else she has to say. Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. She is talking about her mother, of course. Pyromancy is the art, but I would but yeah, she's, uh, I think once we uh, take out the her mom as like our big quest. No luck. Hmm. Well, young pupil, you must have patience, but do not keep me waiting much longer. Yeah, once we kill her mom, she'll have some more stuff to say. Uh, we're not doing that soon we, we're going to take on another area first. Um, we won't be too far off. So we'll, we'll be speeding more of her. She's also our best bet to uh, upgrade the Pyromancy Flame right now because uh, we're actually going to be able to upgrade it farther past what we um, initially can with the other Pyromancer guys like Angie or uh, or Laurentius if we had kept him around. But anyway, right here we can find Shiva of the East. Um, and I'm actually going to quickly heal my poison here because why not, right? Let's see what he has to say. Of course, his ninja bodyguard is right there, menacing as ever. Hello again. Strange to meet away from the clan and the forest. But while you are here, how about some equipment? I love collecting these things. But I can only keep so many. And you know, you are a friend. I'll sell them cheap. So yeah, down here, he's going to give us a gesture. Look skyward. And then we can just buy some stuff off him. He sells some pretty cool stuff. Um, a lot of unique weapons. So the Flamberge, that's what those Cobra guys were using back in Sin's Fortress. Stone Greatsword is what the big guys were using. Demon Great Schmidt, ship, uh, uh, Demon Great Machete, that's what the Capra Demon was using back in uh, Lower Undead Berg. Shuttles, um, we actually picked one of those up. So we can buy another one and dual wield them like, uh, like Latrek did. The Uchi Katana, that's just your straightforward katana weapon if you want to be a ninja. Washing Pole is just a giant katana. Demon's Great Axe, I think we actually got that, so don't need to buy that there. Claws are, um, if you want to be like Wolverine. And the Demon Spear, that's what those gargoyles in Anorlando were using. He also sells the East Woodgrain Ring, which, uh, let's do weapon durability. Uh, yeah, so not a super useful ring, but you can buy it if you want. Um, so yeah, down here he's just doing some illegal weapons dealing. <laughs> and no talk option, so not much else to say. Uh, we're not interested in anything he's buying just yet. Uh, might come back and pick up a new Chigatana, though, <laughs> but that's about it. So, let's try talking to him one more time. We meet again. I have the equipment, if you have the need. Uh, I don't actually have the need, so <laughs> we're going to leave him be. So yeah, if you, you have to be in the Forest Hunters for him to show up, which is why I changed after joining the um, Sunlight Altar. Um, and if you want to buy stuff from him, you come down here. Uh, not much else besides that. There's actually a lot of cut content. Like originally there was going to be a whole quest line where he betrays you and then you got to get your revenge just like you did with Latrek. But as I said, that was that was cut from the uh, game. <laughs> but right here, we're going to see a familiar face. And uh, seeing as how that he's aggressive, let's uh, try to keep our just Oh, look at that. He's gone hollow, but he's still helping out with us. Um, he also just poisoned himself, but here's Laurentius in his search for the ultimate pyromancy or whatever his quest was. He has gone hollow, unfortunately. So, uh, oh, wow, uh, busy. God, I hate these so much. Okay, you know what? It's, uh, wow, that thing is still around. It's, okay, <laughs> I'm having more trouble with the bug here. Still alive. And he poisoned me. Awesome. Alright, let's uh, finish him off here. And we'll put him out of his misery. Farewell, Laurentius, the truce bro. 
and Dark Souls. Um, real sad, but like I said, Dark Souls isn't a, a game with a lot of happy endings. <laughs> you know, you go off to, you have your journey, your quest, but it doesn't always mean it's going to work out for you. And I believe if we reload, somewhere around here we can get the Pyromancer set. Um, yeah, like I said, that's one of those sets where you look like a homeless person, so I'm not too interested in grabbing it. Um, but anyway, down here, up ahead we got one more friend to say hello to. Uh, if you remember, Siegmeier said he's going to be heading down below soon. And we can actually come and meet him right here. So let's see what, how we can help him today. Uh, well, first let's take this thing out. Let's say hello. Our man is asleep. Wow. <laughs> Hats off to you for being able to sleep around here. This god must smell awful as well. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see. I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm short on antidote moss for the trip back. Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask, but can you spare a few scraps of moss? Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Well, our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you come down here with... I think you need three purple moss clumps. Give it to him, help him out with uh, his poisoning problems. And he'll give me a copy of his shield, which is pretty cool. It's, a, it's an interesting shield. Rather than parrying, you just stab with it. Uh, we're not going to use it for our build, but it's a classic part of the Siegmeier build. The poison swamp. I quick stand in there. Hmm. And I assume he does not have a rusted iron ring, so it can be a bit more difficult for him. Um, not impossible, though. He's, he'll keep pressing on with his journey. Uh, we're actually not going to be pressing on into the demon runes just yet. We're going we're gonna to stop by somewhere else and... Uh, we're going to figure that out next episode because it's about wrapping up point. Um, timing worked out pretty well. Mm, this should be a nice, uh, reasonably <laughs> sized episode. Um, I was always aiming to have them between 20 and 30 minutes, but then I inevitably started just naturally thinking, oh, that means 30 minutes per episode, <laughs> and then last minute rush as we approach time, and I'm over and uh, rambling as always. Maybe eventually I'll stop doing that. <laughs> but either way, thank you guys for watching, as always. Very fun time making the series, making this episode and getting to replace Dark Souls. So, catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.